At four, the opioid epidemic is worse than ever before, and tonight there's a new effort to save people from overdosing and dying. News Force Carly Gordon tells us what it is and then how it works. We're talking about these fentanyl test strips. The CDC just announced federal grant funds can be used to buy them. The goal is to buy time for those living with addiction, and those impacted by this crisis are praying that it works. The day he was born was the greatest day of my life and the day that he died was the worst day of my life. Romello Marchman was just 22 years old. He died on Memorial Day in Nashville. The coroner found high levels of fentanyl in his system. Those kids, you know, they don't think it can happen to them and they think they're invincible. And, you know, they think they can just take one pill, but one pill can kill. Romello is far from alone. 80% of the overdose deaths in Nashville involve fentanyl. It's very depressing and it's um, it's very concerning. Um, you know, I think everybody is, is doing everything that we can at this point to just try and keep people alive. It's why the CDC just announced federal funding can be used to purchase fentanyl test strips. Where somebody can take a small sample of whatever substance they're using and mix it with a little water and dip the stick into that and I get an indication if, if fentanyl is present or not. They cost a dollar a strip and soon groups hope to be handing them out to whoever wants them. So if you think about it in those terms, one dollar to potentially save a life. That's 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 pretty good. Studies show the strips don't stop people from doing the drugs. They do make people reduce the amount. It's about trying to keep people alive and trying to get them the help they need. People like Romello. That's what makes me get up in the morning is to try to keep somebody else from having to go through this. Romello's mom started a foundation in her son's honor. She says if you need these test strips, you can contact her directly. You can also help her by donating to the foundation. And we have all the info you need posted on the News 4 app. Carly Gordon, News 4 Nashville.